We're rebuilding a legend. This is well, the first time in 40 years that Ford Motor Company has put a boss name on a marquee on Mustang. We said that we were either going to do the boss right or we weren't going to do it. This boss, it is going to be the best track Mustang ever. We're at Laguna Seca. This track is very historic for the boss. This is where Pinelli Jones actually set the track record back in 1970, driving the Boss 302 Mustang. What a special moment to bring back the person who's most identifiable with the boss, and that's uh, the one and only Pernelli Jones. Obviously, it's a Jones part of it. I feel like I'm part of Mustang. I feel like you can drive it all day long at uh, race speed. Racing is really a, a, an extreme durability test. If you think about racing, racing is sort of the worst torture test you can ever put through a car. This is real development that you're in today. The guy on the street, he gets the best ride, the best performing car, because we have literally torture tested it for a year before he got a chance to take it out on the road. The Boss is probably the most well-known Mustang in Mustang history. This project is bringing it back and bringing it back better and faster than ever. This car is going to set the standard for Ford. It's not a compromise. It is exactly what a Boss 302 was and should be, and it's going to perform just like a Boss 302 should. It's all in. Boss is the biggest and the baddest. It always has been. This car's out front. I think it'll stay there. The boss is back, and the boss is back in the big way.